Hey, what's up guys? Now that I got my drift working again, I'll be able to make more videos rather than just on the weekends. I can answer y'all's questions as I'm driving to work. Or whatever I'm doing. So, new videos I'm going to be making. So, I'm going to be doing more drug comparisons, pharmacology, things like that. Also, what I will also mention... Alright, hopefully that's not too loud. Is I'm going to be... I'm going to be continuing the series I did on aging on my old channel. And I'm doing that because, well, a lot of the... Yeah, hold on, let's just turn this off for a second. I'm going to be doing that because... A lot of pharmacy and pharmacology and, and medicine in general is just about uh, curing these uh, diseases. And a lot of these diseases, uh, they appear acutely in people for for different reasons, but if you wait long enough, diabetes, Alzheimer's, it will happen to everyone. So curing the underlying problems of the diseases is important, and it's really an age-related illness. So I'll definitely be continuing the, the series on my new channel. I'm going to remake the older ones, make them shorter, and uh, more to the point, especially for those people who are, are new to the whole concept. And then, of course, I'll make more advanced ones for people who are already familiar with the basic principles, and uh, it will go from there. I really hope you guys can hear me. Hopefully, I'm not yelling too loudly, but this bike is really, really loud. It's not like a 250 or something like that where you can just have a casual conversation and drive around. But I'll see how this mic works out. If it's bad, maybe I won't even bother uploading it. But I also wanted to make this video to not only update you on what else I'm going to be doing as far as pharmacology and and aging is concerned, just continuing off my old channel. But also, I really wanted to do more outreach as far as just the drugs that are available right now. So, as many of you know, I used to work for an insurance company reviewing claims. So whenever you submit a prior authorization, I would review the claim and I would decide whether or not it would be approved or denied. So now a lot of what I do is basically I work on the opposite end. So what I do is I work at a hospital now and you know people have cancer drugs, hepatitis C drugs, um, and all kinds of very rare conditions. And they're very expensive. And of course, uh, they don't make it easy for it to be covered. It's a lot easier to deny something than it is to approve. If you want to approve something, it has to be submitted exactly correctly, and more often than not, you're going to have a situation where you've got people that meet the criteria, but because the doctor's office did not submit it correctly, and I don't blame the doctor's office at all. It's Like I said, I used to work at a hospital before I worked at an insurance company, and I thought I knew a lot about prior authorizations getting stuff approved. And to be honest, I, once I got there, I realized I knew absolutely nothing. Hold on. Alright. Alright. Really. Alright, never mind. But anyways. So what I really like to do is to help out uh, if you're an individual. Once I started working back at the hospital, you realize you know, how much of a problem people have with the insurance companies for, uh, you know, for good or for bad reasons, but in the middle you have people who really do qualify for these treatments, but just for, for different reasons don't get qualified and often people die. I saw a video recently on, uh, I'll put a link there, but it was basically about a, a guy who died waiting for his hep C treatment. He was stage four, and he had been denied multiple times, appealed, still denied. And this, it, it seems like someone who is at that stage of liver disease would qualify automatically, and they pretty much do. I could have gotten that guy approved in less than 24 hours, for sure. But it's the uh, insurance difficulties. They ask for a lot of things, and if they're not submitted in a precise way, in the precise language, it can be easy to deny. And most people are going to deny those things because you've got X quota working at an insurance company and if you, it's much faster to deny a case than it is to approve it. You just find one reason to deny it, say deny it, done. Next case. So really what I'd like to do is to, like I said, have an outreach where I'd be able to have people and say, hey, I'm having trouble getting you know, this drug approved and I can look into the case and say, well, you know, Here's how you would approve a drug like this, or uh, you know, here's a process. So whether you're an individual or a doctor's office, I can give you a better idea of you know, what that process involves. 
and be able to, you know, get you the medicine you need so you don't die like this guy. And I had a very similar case when I started working in the hospital. We had a guy who, he was stage four, so he was basically as, as much damage as you can get before you die. And he had been denied four times. And he had appealed and been denied, appealed and been denied. And the whole time, he had all the criteria he needed. They kept denying him for, for a liver biopsy. But the trouble is, they kept putting not only a liver biopsy in there, but another form of liver test, fibro test, which is not accepted. So they just kept denying it for that reason, even though there was a perfectly valid liver biopsy. He got the liver biopsy done in 2000. So, and he was, he was stage three then, and he automatically qualified for that then. But still, he was getting denied, 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 and literally it's to the point where he was about to die. And he was very, very close to death. So I was able to go in there, I was able to set it up in a way, I mean it was basically the same information, but it was set up in a way where you could not possibly deny it. There are no reasons to deny it. So he was approved and now, you know, he is in remission as far as the Hep C is concerned. I mean, we'll see, we'll see how, long he, how well he, how long he is after a year, but and he could have very easily died. In, uh, he was in the hospital, he was not doing well, but fortunately he pulled through. But this happens every day to people all across the country and you know people are really uh, not aware that they ought to be getting it or in some cases the doctor's office is not even aware either so it's kind of a big mystery and what I'd like to be able to do is to help out people in those situations anyways I'll keep in touch with you guys even if you guys are my old channel I'll probably will post some of the new even some of the the aging videos that I know a lot of people go on there for that still so I'll probably update that old channel still. Now don't worry about it, I'll end up doing something with it. But this is going to be my main channel, the new one, the Sons of Apollo. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you next time.